Greetings and welcome back, one and all, to Muffalo Marsh in Rimworld, where we are, by the looks of it, starting to harvest. Fantastic. How far away are we on this? We're actually pretty close. Also fantastic. I can possibly afford to start building some... Wow, really, Bonnie? Are you alright? You are proper ejecting the entire contents of your stomach. That you That was an emergency evacuation event. Wow. You are not feeling good. I do not blame you. Ye gads. Alright, is Buttercup okay at this point? Um, it's a major one, but she'll be okay soon. But I would actually really prefer you to stay in bed. Oh, I that's right. I re-equipped you. I forgot. I'm sorry, Bonnie. My bad. There you go. You just uh, chill out there. Right, I'm going to reinstall this over here. And I'm going to move one of these chairs up there. And with the amount of cloth that we have, which I'm hoping we got a lot of, we've got 161 cloth. We've got 200 muffalo leather. You know what? I think for furnishings, we want some muffalo leather chairs. Some really nice ones. I have one there. And then we'll have another one there. As soon as that is moved. Uh, okay, you know, it's not doing too bad. We're getting things done here and there. Fatty's working on more of the uh, paving, which is grand. Cargo pods, what have we got? More meat. Okay, well, that's pretty good. It means we don't have to go out and hunt, which is always ideal for us. Mm, Power-wise, though, I'm a little bit concerned. We're not actually storing up that much power. Mm. Got a lot of things running at the moment. I think it's probably... Yeah, there we go. Just lost power. I think it would probably be wise to uh, set up more power generators in the meanwhile. And we'll also go ahead and drop down... Um, it's not, not going to be even no matter where I put this. That is unfortunate. I'll just pretend that I don't see it then. Or at least I'll try to. How cold is it outside? Uh, it's not that cold anymore, which is good. Though, had it been very cold, I would have just turned off this cooler. I probably should have anyway. We did need it running that whole time. Uh, I'm going to let them load anything they can into this. Oh, a psychic ship just landed. A large piece of ancient ship has crashed nearby. Your colonists can feel it in the back of their minds, exhorting unspeakable acts. It must have an onboard AI persona with psychic projection ability. And this AI is not friendly. Destroy it as soon as possible. It's miles away. Uh, we're not going to worry about that just yet. But we are going to have to probably uh, prepare to take that out this episode, I would imagine. Oh, fantastic. We've got a good harvest of food coming in. The fine meals should begin being constructed once again. This will be a good time. Are you going down? You literally... You know what? Pick them all up. Oh, no, really? Oh. Scallywags. Oh, well. At least you're probably bringing all of it up instead of just one or two. Uh, could you... Buttercup, do you think... No? Are you alright, Buttercup? Yes, immunity developed. Excellent. Right, could you move that around? Thank you very much. I would then like to get the uh, Muffalo Leather Armchair installed. Perfect. We'll also have some plants just by the table. It'll look lovely. Like we could have, in my mind, it's not going to be, um, what is it, a day lily or a rose. It'll probably be like something like a peace lily, I'm thinking. Um, maybe, maybe a large fern as well. I'm, I'm quite a fan of, of ferns when used in moderation. Some people think that ferns are the only plant they need in a house, and I'm not quite sure I agree. Though, you know, to each their own, honestly. Perhaps I just don't understand the genius of their floral arrangements. But personally, I don't like just having, you know, a copious amount of ferns. Ferns used here and there, especially in the presence of other plants, beautiful. Ferns by themselves, eh, kind of makes it look like the forest floor in your room. And it's not really meant to. It's my room. As much as I like being in the forest, eh, my house is not the forest, generally speaking. Unless I'm camping. But even then, I wouldn't say that I I then own the forest and it is now my house because I'm currently residing there. That's very egotistical. 
Silly human way of thinking. I own wherever I live. Ah, uh, we have forgotten the conventional wisdom of the tribespeople who came before us. It is a sad day. We'll only realize exactly how much we have uh, forgotten when we run out of fish and realize we can't eat money. Okay, good. How many components and none there? That one, though, can be set up. Unfortunately, it's the one right in the bloody middle. Uh, but we've got other components around, so it shouldn't be too bad. Unfortunately, we are going to have a lot of that, that kind of uh, electrical sound for now. Uh, let's see. Well, we've got plenty of food, at least. Is that going to be able to get these set up for us? I certainly hope so. Let's get that going, shall we? Is that ready now? No, not quite. Really? You're, this? Oh, well, okay. You're, you're spreading them out. We, we should be all right. Um, could we possibly... Oh, far too sleeping. Bentham, I'm really... Oh, I can't. Bonnie, can you? No. Buttercup, can you? No. Really? Are all of my... Are all of my colonists... How much are you carrying? Tell me. Tell me true. I don't think you're carrying a lot. Yeah, you carry five. You liar. Grab that. There we go. I'm on to you. You're like, yeah, oh, I've, I've, I've got to go for a walk. I've got to go and pick stuff up and bring it back. I know how this works. I've worked somewhere before where I didn't really want to do the job. So I was like, every opportunity. Yeah, I've, I've got to go and fix the printer. You can do it remotely. No, I've got to, I've got to walk down three floors and, and do it there. I, I have to. Right, where are you? Right, Zandria, could you please begin work on that? And continue work on it. I would really like it if we get that armchair set up. Then, finish building it. It'll look lovely. I mean, Zandria isn't the best constructor I have, by far. In fact, Farty's one of the best. In fact, Farty, could you build the other one? Was that okay? It was shoddy. Oh, I shouldn't have forced it. Uh, okay, let's have a have a look at work. Construction, yeah, it's flat out farty. Zandri can do it, but it's not very good. I shouldn't have it doing furniture, really. Walls, fine. Furniture, not quite. See? See? That's the difference. Good. Good quality. Well done, farty. And thank you very much for setting this up as well. That is excellent. Okay, it wasn't quite in time to get use out of it today, but I'm sure we'll be alright later. Uh, we just need one more, and then tomorrow our energy woes uh, hopefully will be resolved. I might, they might not be, but we will hope. Hope against hope. Uh, as for this area, you know what? Let's get rid of this. And we're going to continue with our flooring pad plan of paved tiles, but we're going to take them all the way up, and then we're going to connect over there via a two. This. Um, yeah, I think that's good enough. Well, actually, we can use a three there, honestly, if we want to. Now, the four here is going to look a bit different, but we're probably going to just have alternating plants, because the thing is, as people are moving around near these plants, it's going to be putting them in a good mood. Also, I can have lighting there, which is another good thing to have. Um, on that note, let me go ahead and set up a light around here, I think. Actually, no, I'll have a light there. And you know what? I'm going to make a little zone. A little tiny stockpile zone right here of wood. This is going to be... Uh, we're going to rename it. This will be Generator Fuel. There we go. And the only resource I want in here is wood. So raw resources. Uh, wood. There we go. That should work. Uh, Alright then, I'll, I'll change it from Jenny to Generator. I think that should be all right. Oh, I've put the E in the wrong place, apparently. There we go. 
Sort of. Now, up here, we'll probably set up... Well, yeah, we'll probably have some sort of storage going on there, I think. For the time being, though, we want one more... Um, yeah, we want another light. Probably around here somewhere. We could go along with the pattern for a ways. I don't want to be that predictable, though. I'd rather not be, anyway. Let's bring this up. Uh, we could... You know what? We could actually make this a sealed-off area. And there is certainly a part of me that, would, that appreciates the, the idea of that. If we did this, for example... Actually, you know what? Let's cancel these. And we'll have the door right there instead. We'll go with a metal tile there. And then we'll have paved tiles going up there. And that way, this area won't look quite so out of place as a little graveyard goes. Um, have a couple more graves there. And we can make that a little bit more decorative. A party has been made. Buttercup is throwing a party. Everyone who goes will gain joy and social energy. And a lasting positive mood boost. Is anyone, did anyone show up? Buttercup, you're the only one at your own party? I'll, I'll cry if that's true. Oh, Buttercup. Let me check. I need to find out. Did someone else go to Buttercup's party? If not, you're scoundrels. Feeling good? No, you didn't go. Need to find, find me old. You didn't go. Um, did anyone go? Oh, you're all gits. Call yourself friends? Scoundrels. A lot of you. Uh, Farty, would you please prioritize moving that over there? Has Ben actually been set up to be recruited? No. We'll change that now. There we go. It's going to probably take us a long time to get uh, Pira recruited. Now I'm hopeful. Ooh. An ancient structure has emitted a psychic pulse that has driven nearby animals mad. We've got three idle colonists right now. Bonnie, Buttercup, and Bentham. And, oh, wait, wait, wait. Are they all at the party now? Feeling good. Tons of joy. Very low expectations. Buttercup. You'd find meal. Hmm, actually, is it is it their time for being idle? Is it bad time, maybe? Let me have a look at their restrictions. What time is it? It is the 18th hour. No, you should be working. That means there is no work to do, oh my lord. Right, okay. Let's have a look at some things that we can uh, we can work on. We can go for electric smelting, mortars, um, explosive IDs, machining. I wouldn't mind going for machining. Carpet making would be very nice. Get some carpets going. Uh, it'd take a while, though. Stone cutting would help us get rid of some of the stone around. So I'm going to pop that one down. Let's get stone cutting on the go. Uh, we're going to have to go out there and deal with that. Bonnie failed to recruit people. We're going to need that stuff hauled in soon. Unfortunately, we've got no specific place to put it anymore. So I need to make a new zone for that. A stockpile zone. I mean, I could have the stockpile zone in here if I particularly wanted to. Uh, people would just have to walk. Oh, well, actually, they can walk around this. Well, uh, you know what? That isn't actually so bad then. Yeah, sure. We'll make this a zone for storing the uh, steel and components. Hopefully, we can get all of that brought in then. We're slowly building a stock of fine meals. Oh, no, we're not. We're building simple meals because we've run out of uh, nice meaty chunks. Alas! Uh, are there any animals out here that are going crazy? I suspect there are. Yeah, there are a couple of hares. Go slay them. I would like some fine meals. Uh, let's see if there's anyone else around here sleeping. I mean, anything else, not anyone else. We don't want to slay people. Uh, not really, anyway. I mean, if we had to, then I probably wouldn't stop them, but... Cargo pods! Oh. Uh, nutrient paste meals. I mean, the meals, I guess, but strongly, I guess. It's, it's not. It's not a given on that one. Right. Let's move the power through here because it'll still be hooked up to the main power grid, which is a good one. There we go. 
actually starting to look quite nice. Once we put the door there, though, we need to ensure that this area is open to the sky. So we don't want a roof on this. Well, you know what? I don't want a roof on any part of this area. This should all be outdoors. Just so that people, you know, they don't get cave adapted. Not that that happens in this game, but still. We should, uh, we should be guarded against it all the same. I really hope none of you try to escape because it's not going to end well for you. And I do genuinely want to, like, you know, recruit you. I'd be a little bit sad if you got shot because you were idiots. Only a little bit, though, because you're different around yourself. Um, we are going to have to go and deal with that, though. And that is a bit of a pain. I'm wondering where we could fight it from. If we go for the sniper tactic, then maybe we could do it from over here. Possibly, because we could duck behind here then as they come out. And we could just do hit and run tactics over time to try and break in. There might be a way to go for go forward with that. Right, how's everyone doing? Um, everyone's doing reasonably well. We've got a couple of things we need to build. But generally speaking, I think this place looks quite nice now. Honestly, I think it looks really nice. Uh, Heat-wise, indoors 20, that's glorious. It's actually outdoors 23 at the moment. You know what, why are we doing all of this? Let's turn these off. We do not need them. Turn the heaters off as well, please. There we go. Turn that one off. And we will assign a no-roof area uh, there and here. Just that all our plants can grow. There we are. We don't need all of that. Oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. We do need these areas still covered by the roof. Because if it rains on that battery, it would be bad times. Very bad times, actually. Extremely bad times. There we go. Now, the advantage to what I'm doing here is that should there ever be a time when we get, like, nuclear fallout or something like that, I can just remove the roof around this area while keeping, like, gables so people can freely move around my solar panels and things like that without having issue. I might actually build some more solar panels up there. I'm not sure about that one. That would, that would reduce it to two. It would be symmetrical, because there's only two wide path down there, but... Metal Slick Confusion, Drone Intensifies. Let's have a look at look at people's thoughts now, thanks to that drone. Psychic Drone, medium, minus 15. I feel like someone is always just out of sight, speaking to me. The voice changes, but the message doesn't. I'm supposed to hurt people. Make it go away! It gets worse. Over time, it becomes quite eldritch after a while. Quite Cthulhu-esque. How's everything going? Farty's doing a lot of work, but really, Farty's about the only one that is doing work. Uh, at least in construction. Xandria will do it as a tertiary job, but only if Xandria runs out of anything else to do. Which I suppose is okay, is the cook. Um... They'll do plant cutting, they'll do cleaning before then. Steel auto dodge broke. Well, scoundrels. It is now summer! Hooray! Some crazy animals outside? I heard something. Whatever it is, it needs to die. Like super now. Alright, we're going okay. Just got a little bit more to do. Oh, really? You, you scoundrel, you. Alright, everyone, wake up. Get over there, please. Beat the living daylight out of this bloody squirrel, thanks. Phantom, you too. Smack it with the butt of your sniper rifle. Please. No! Oh, my lord. That was... That was so bad. So almost dead. You had a terrible weapon as well, Buttercup. You, you can't aim, and I'm giving you a rapid-fire, just spray-and-pray weapon. That would have That would have ended poorly. Would have ended really poorly. <laughs> you get. Thank you very much for taking care of Farty, though. Got a couple of uh, couple of, uh, of cats. You can't take those uh, things for for granted. Oh, we got a trader. Fantastic. Maybe we can get rid of all of this junk that we got going there. Okay, let's see. Bonnie's getting the plants going again. Lovely. Thank you very much, Bonnie. Let's get the last little bit done over here. I can't you missed so much against something that isn't moving. It fills me with sadness. Cougar revenge! Really? Why? 
Oh no! It was a cougar! I didn't realize it was a cougar! Run, Buttercup! Oh, that's gonna hurt you. Uh, I may have just killed Buttercup. I'm so sorry, Buttercup. I am genuinely so terribly sorry. Just keep running. It is better for you to run right now. It is just biting you every now and then, but it's sometimes missing, which is good. Just keep going. Keep going. Someone shoot the bloody thing. Oh, Buttercup's down. Go, Makuga. Okay, no. Okay, fine. <laughs> this is going so poorly. Go and rescue Buttercup. Has Buttercup lost any new bits? No. That's good. How messed up is the Kuga? There we go. Please just kill the thing. Just shoot it until it's dead. Put it out of his misery. It was my fault. I didn't mean to send Buttercup to fight a bloody Kuga. I thought it was a rabbit from that distance. Uh, this is the problem with designating things to be hunted from god, your god perspective, basically. It, it goes poorly, generally. It goes pretty badly. Okay, colonists needs treatment. Yes, I'm sure they do. Quite a few of them, in fact. Right, you're undrafted. Is everyone else undrafted? Yes, more or less. Ah, hello. Would you like to come in? I assure you, it's lovely in here. Uh, let's get a rose there, just for a little bit of diversity in the plants. A rose. Oh, Bonnie, are you leaking everywhere? Left arm torn off! Oh, no! Bonnie had her left arm torn off by a bloody cougar. Left index finger torn off. Oh, what a horrible day that was. Uh, Farty, I super need to clean this place. Same with Bantam, actually. We need all of this cleaned up, thanks. Uh, so bad. We need bionic arms. Like, really, really badly. Bonnie, are you able enough to go and tra trade? Thank goodness. Terrible mood. Yeah, Buttercup. Yeah, my friends lost their arms because I was an idiot. Oh, I feel so responsible. You are. Only, you know, it was me. Alas. Right. Well, we've got a load of stuff we can sell. This trader will take pretty much anything we have to offer them. Wild fur is going to go. Squirrel skin. Snow hair leather. That can go as well. But loads of cloth that we could trade if we wanted to. Um, could buy various meats. Uh, and I'm tempted to do so. Yeah, sure. We'll take all these meats. Kibble? Mm, no, I won't be taking that. I could buy some cats. Or an alpaca, which would give us wool. Not so sure about that. Male cat of small town at the ridge, age five. One of mankind's first pets. The cat is a small mammal which hunts vermin. Known for their aloofness, cats are nevertheless popular companions because of their calmness, independence, and fine petable fur. Okay, um. Trainable intelligence? None. They're not trainable. Cat does what cat pleases. Uh, so I'm not particularly interested in, in taking it as a, as a pet. I'm sorry. Um, we're willing to sell quite a lot, actually. Yeah, I, I'm willing to sell pretty much all of my silver to get that. It's going to give us meat for a long time. Sure. Now I'm going to need everyone to bring that in, so I'm just going to make hauling a super high priority for everyone, just so you can bring all of the stuff in that we need. There we go. Just grab it all. Bring it back in for me. Thank you. And as soon as this is done, it should be good. Oops. Oh no, it's just happened there. Really? Does something just attack? What? The dickens just happened? Why did... Did Fox attack them? Did Fox, like, lose their mind or something? Yes, I I actually think that Fox lost their mind and attacked their comrades. Wow. Today's a bad day for you, isn't it, Fox? Are you a decent character, though? Could we perhaps bring you in for all the heat love him? Maybe. We could always use it as brownie points as well. You know what? Let's set up a bed. A wood bed, now that we've got wood to use. Right there. And we should be able to get a couple of things on the go. But I'm actually going to wrap the episode up here. And I will bring you back on the morrow. We'll see 
exactly what we can do with Fox down there. I'm thinking that we'll bring, well, we'll rescue Fox, I think. Um, and then we'll release them. That way it should actually make the colony a little bit happier with us. So yeah, just go ahead and rescue Fox for now. But that is going to be it from me for now. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and will be joining me for the next. As ever, any feedback is warmly welcomed and a like on the video lets me know you want to see more removed in the future. But until then, do take care everyone.